Hi, fifth grade. It is Monday, April 27th, and I'm really excited because we're going to get started with some new material for math. This entire week, we're going to focus on interpreting remainders. So we've already done some division, but this week, we're going to focus on what to do with our remainders. If you look on Google Classroom, you will see the think about it problem and two additional problems, test of conjecture number one and test of conjecture number two. What I'm going to do is go over the think about it problem and your homework for tonight will be to complete the two additional problems. So I'm going to fast forward. I've already annotated the think about it problem. I know that Mira has $14. That's my total. And she wants to buy three binders. I've already annotated that as my number of groups. And so I want to know how much does each binder cost? Mr. Locke has already estimated using UPESC, and I know my answer should be close to five. But our focus is to do the division and then think about what to do with our remainder. So I'm going to set up the problem. Um, I know that my divisor is three. So my three goes outside of the box or the house. And my dividend is 14. I'm first going to ask myself, how many times does three fit into one? And we know three is bigger than one, so we're going to place an X above the one. The next step is to ask myself, how many times does three fit into 14? Three fits into 14 four times. Five would be too big because three times five is 15. So four times three is 12 and I have a difference of two. Now, in fourth grade, you would have represented your answer as four remainder two. But not only does that not work in the context of this problem, sorry, that just doesn't make sense to answer the question as four remainder two because it's asking for a cost. And so what we can do is extend the decimal in order to continue dividing. So we had $14. Adding those two zeros does not change the value. And so just like we already know how to divide, we will continue by bringing down the next digit, which will make this 20. Now I'm going to next ask myself, how many times does three fit into 20? And that would be six times, because six times three is 18. I still have one more digit, this last zero to bring down. Um, and Mr. Locke actually made a mistake. Mr. Locke should make sure his decimal is aligned so that my quotient makes sense. Um, and again, I want a cost. I know that my question is asking how much does each binder cost? And so I need to have a cost for my answer. So when I subtract, I get two again. I bring down the next zero. And again, three fits into 26 times. So instead of writing my answer as four remainder two, which technically is correct, just doesn't answer the question in the context of this problem. Instead of writing four remainder two, I can write four and 66 hundredths or $4.66. So sometimes it makes sense to represent your answer as a decimal. Sometimes it makes sense to write your answer using a remainder. But again, the focus of this week is interpreting remainders. So I want you to try the next two problems and think about what is the best way to represent your remainder. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And again, continue to send me your assignments via Google Classroom or you can send or email them to me directly. I look forward to seeing your assignments and have a great rest of your day.